Oh, okay. Did you guys hear about Dr. Brown and Dr. Love? Like, not not what I told you about a few weeks ago. Wait, what happened this time? She's pregnant. They've been researching late at night. I know. I yeah. Know researching. Apparently. I know. Susan, are you ready to meet now? Yeah. So, see you later. Bye. I got my meeting now. I'll tell you the rest of it after the meeting. Okay. Okay. Yay! I'll look you right before. Hi, Susan. Thanks for coming in and meeting with us before you go home for the day. Um, I just wanted to ask you, do you know why we called you in here for this meeting? I'm assuming that it has to do with my yelling match with Carol this morning, but like, she just does not do accounts achievable the same way I do accounts achievable. And like, by the end of the day, our GL accounts are not equal and it just, it's horrible. It just, it messes up our accounts. So that's well, why I did it. Okay. Well, um, you know, we've, we've already um, had a discussion with you twice now as to um, you know, the first time was your attitude, and mm -hmm. then the second time was your negativity and gossip mm -hmm. within the company. Mm -hmm. um, and then we um, we initiated a performance uh, improvement plan. And you know, at this point, you're in violation of that. You do understand this, right? Yeah, but we've only met once, and that was your performance one. When was my verbal? Um, well, I actually, that information. yes, um, looking back at our documentation, uh, July 10th, we give you a verbal warning for your attitude, and then October 13th was when we installed the 30-day performance plan um, because of the rumor you had started with Dr. Love and Professor Leanne Brown. So, um, you know, the verbal discount has a warning, and then you have your written warning. Mm -hmm. and so now, you know, we're, you're in violation of the company policy handbook um, for going into a yelling match in front of other coworkers and with other coworkers. So at this point, um, I pretty much have no other choice but to fire you. But do you not realize who my sister is? She's like your guys' biggest customer. Well, I, I do realize that. And I guess what I want out of all this is just for you to understand where you went wrong and hopefully in the future uh, employment that you have, you, you won't make the same mistakes. But I mean, it's just totally out of my control. You have violated the policy handbook in which you were given and you signed a paper stating that. Um, so I really, you know, but is Carol, I don't like this any more than you do. Is Carol going to get anything? I mean, she messes up all of your accounts all the time. Well, I guess if that comes out as a problem, but at this point, I haven't seen a problem with Carol. All right. Do you want to go ahead and clean out your desk, your office now before you leave, or would you like me to clean it out and you can just stop back and pick this stuff up? I'll go out there and clean out my desk and let everyone know. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for thanks for everything. Yeah. See you guys in the future, hopefully. Good luck. I just got fired. What? Yeah, for gossiping, apparently. That's so weird. I know, I took the whole day, so...